many parts of the United States of America. The event is the All-Ireland Senior Hurling Championship Final, played in Dublin's Croke Park. As usual, the senior game is preceded by the minor championship final, which in 1964 was contested by the boys from Cork and Leach. The lads from the Rebel County started favourites, coming as they did from a county renowned for its hurling prowess. But Leash, who had overcome such strong opposition as Kilkenny and Dublin in the earlier rounds, were expected to put in a very strong challenge for their first title. It was not their day, however, and Cork's famous trainer, Jim Barry, had little doubt about the outcome from an early stage. The Linster boys had no answer to the hurling artistry of Cork's Charlie McCarthy, Michael Keneally, Andy Flynn, Donald Clifford, Liam McAuliffe, Kevin Cummins and Con Roach. And so Cork gained their seventh success in the minor grade and gave notice of a return to past glory in senior ranks. Among the attendants for the big game was Most Reverend Dr. Morris, Archbishop of Cashel and patron of Common Law Class Gale. On Taoiseach Sean Lamass, August Avan, August Sean O'Sheacoin, on Ard Rooney Nua, the Common Law Class Gale. The finalists were Tipperary, the blue and gold jerseyed champions of Munster, and Kilkenny, the Linster champions in their black and amber. Before the national anthem, one minute's silent prayer was observed in memory of one of Ireland's most beloved persons, the late Pádraig O'Keeve, Ardru Ní Common Lú Clás Gael, er yeste go reba anam. On to the year's greatest clash of the ash. From the throw-in, Paddy Moran got possession and passed to Seamus Clear, who shot Kilkenny into a lead of one point. This was a happy augury for Kilkenny, the reigning champions, but it became quickly obvious that they were up against a stiff opposition when Jimmy Doyle soon opened Tipperary's account with this equaliser. Only two minutes later, Matthew McKenna dashes in, it's a goal! Tipperary, who were fighting for the additional honour of heading the list of All-Ireland title holders, were now in rampant mood. In another attack, Jimmy Doyle scored his second point. At the canal end, Mick Roach has a tussle with Kilkenny's energetic Tom Watch. Ted Carroll takes a 70, which runs along the ground to Paddy Moran, and there goes Kilkenny's a second point. Now Eddie Kerr scores a point from a free. But Tipperary were gradually getting command of the midfield battle, and the men from the Premier County stormed back. Here is another Matty McKenna goal, but no it isn't, the whistle had gone for a free, which Jimmy Doyle duly turned into a point. At the other end, John Tian demonstrates his marksmanship, although his score was also disallowed due to a prior infringement by a temporary defender. The marking was close and the pace very fast and one wondered if the older Tipperary men would hold out against the fleet-footed Norsiders. But there was no sign yet of any let-up, and here Jimmy Doyle, one of Tipperary's younger veterans, scores a point from play. Kilkenny's reply, a point by Eddie Kemp. It was still anybody's game, and in the next assault on the Tipperary goal, Tom Walsh gains possession and dashes in to narrow the leeway to a mere two points. Mick Keating is chased by Pat Henderson, and the result of Ted Carroll's arrival on the scene is a free, which sharpshooter Jimmy Doyle puts over the bar.
more shooting practice for Jimmy Doyle. Another free to Tipperary, which means another point for Tipperary. Again, the impeccable Jimmy scores from a free to leave Tipperary five points ahead at half time. After K Gorev Winter Hipperdorn in the Sakegum Sus, near a Visegain, of course. K Aka and Megumbua never the dog. So, on to the last 30 minutes of the 1964 Hurling Championship. Tipperary were the first to attack in the second half, but this one was cleared by the Kilkenny captain, Sean Buckley. The siege was laid at the Tipperary goal, and all the resources of John Doyle, Mick Marr and Kieran Carey were needed to hold the attackers at bay. Kilkenny, who were fielding their youngest and tallest team in history, found that the older Tipperary men could match them in every phase of the game. There did not seem to be any weak link in the armour of the Premier County, and backs and forwards alike appeared to have the whip hand over their rivals so far. But here comes a change. Eddie Kerr takes a free, and John Dean scores a goal. There's only two points between the sides now. It took only one minute for Tipperary to reply through this point by Jimmy Doyle. With only a goal dividing the teams and only 25 minutes left for play, the tempo became faster and fiercer than ever. Wave after wave of Kilkenny attacks were mounted on the Tipperary goal mouth, but the great John Doyle, looking for his seventh All-Ireland medal, was playing at peak form and was ably supported by his colleagues in the defence. John O'Donoghue, in charge of the posts, clears downfield, but Tom Walsh is there to reduce the leeway to only two points again. But each Kilkenny score served only to stimulate the Tipperary men to greater endeavour to ensure that they stayed in front. And here the inimitable Jimmy Doyle scores again. From the substitutes comes better than Liam Devaney. He quickly passes to Donny Nealon who scores a goal. Tipperary now lead by seven points. And even the stoutest hearts in the Kilkenny camp were fast losing hope of reversing the tide. Here, Roach adds a point for the men from Monster. The Tipperary hurling machine was now in top gear, and here is Sean McLaughlin to score his side's third goal. Kilkenny, although 11 points behind, never slackened their efforts. From a 21 yards free, Tom Walsh shoots to the net. Kilkenny keep up the pressure, and after a Pat Henderson clearance, Pat Moran scores another point. Back at the canal end, Tony Nealon crosses the ball, it's Tipperary's fourth goal. Here's the fifth and final blow to Kilkenny, again the scorer, Tony Nealon. So Tipperary swept convincingly to their 20th All-Ireland success, which gives them a lead over their greatest rivals, Cork, in the championship honours list. Dogan Alf Mori, Uchtaran Common Low Class Gale, on Curran, Dami Hall of Marcou, Captain Iron Hibridor. Gone in doubt, the on Curran Taita egg left on the moon on Law Shop. Och Nilain Kuish Noida egg Muita Kilkani, August Beg La Elaku Sariwal.